and I started crying and I started screaming and I started fighting the nurses and everything because I wasn't about to let that needle touch me. It wasn't about to go nowhere near me. I think she loved me because I got the check on me. Mom's been a dead flex on me. Put a curse and hex on me. Scratch out my name, put the X on me. You should come check on me. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Destiny. And if you've seen my face before and you haven't subscribed yet, then what are you doing? So, today I have another story time video and I'm excited because this is a childhood story time, okay? I was legit when this took place. I was like three or four years old, alright? So today I'm going to be telling you guys a little story about this scar right here on my lip. Can y'all see? Hold on. This is very personal. Right there, <laughs> that scar. You can like see where I got the stitches, the little, the little holes right there. Okay, so I'm basically gonna be telling you guys about the time I busted my lip. This story, like I said earlier, took place when I was about three or four years old. Back in the days, my mom worked long 12 hour shifts, sometimes even more than 12 hours. Cause she would do like banquets and weddings and she would work at the country clubs and all that, you know, all that fun stuff. I used to love it cause we used to get free food and like cake and toys and shit. When there were banquets and weddings, usually on the weekends, my mom would work like longer shifts and she would work late nights, like get home 12, one in the morning, maybe two in the morning sometimes. And it was one of those nights, you know, I was left at the house with my sister and my big brother. We're all seven years apart and my sister is the oldest. And I'm pretty sure my big cousin was there too, even though he wasn't supposed to be there. Because my mom was one of those strict moms. She still is. But she always told us not to have anyone in the house and that we weren't allowed to leave the house unless she was home. And she wasn't home, so nobody was supposed to be in and nobody was supposed to be out. But you know. My big brother was packing for a trip, and while he was packing, he was playing with me at the same time. He told me that he was basically playing fetch with me. He would have a toy, and he would throw it at a random place in the house, and I would go run after it as fast as I could and bring it back. He was playing with me like I was a damn puppy or something. We were living in one of those older apartments, you know, back in the day. They had like the folding metal closet doors. I'll insert a picture right here. But basically they were like metal closets and they were like, I can't demonstrate my hand. They were like this and the whole closet would basically open like this. So my face is the closet. This is the folding door and it'll open like this. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? I don't think it makes sense. I'm sorry guys. This is what we're telling that didn't even happen. The closet was located next to my sister's room. For some reason it was open. I'm telling you guys this because it's important. Okay? Just, just keep watching, keep watching, keep watching. It's gonna get better, I promise. Trust me. Trust me. Basically, my brother threw the toy randomly. He didn't even know he wasn't really looking because he's multitasking, so he's just throwing the toy. And he told me he heard it hit the metal closet. So he knew I was gonna be running towards the metal closet. And he said I took off fast as shit for whatever reason. Mind you, this is an apartment. It's not a big ass house with like big halls or anything. After he heard the toy hit the ball, he heard me zoom after it. Literally shortly after, he heard another bang. But it wasn't like a huge bang. He said right after he heard the bang, he heard a fucking scream. And it was like a scream cry. He came to see why I was crying, and he said, as soon as I turned around, he seen a shit ton of blood, and he was like, aw, shit. <laughs> he was like, oh my god. <laughs> that's literally how he told me this on the phone. I don't think he actually said it like that. That's how he told me he said it, so. So then, my sister came out to see why I was crying, and she literally screamed, and she got scared of shit. And she told me that she was scared because she knew that she was going to get blamed for it because she was the older one and she was responsible for both of us. But she was also pissed because apparently she kept telling us to stop and she kept telling me to stop running around, but I guess I didn't listen. So, I wasn't even a bad child, guys. I was actually a good kid. My mom said I was a good kid, so I guess I was just acting. I was, be I was being a little three-year-old, okay? I remember 
being put into the bathroom and sitting on top of the toilet. Like the toilet was closed, but I was sitting on top of the toilet seat. And I remember my ass sitting there, still crying. And as I was crying, I was like digging into the hole. <laughs> I was digging into the hole because it was like a hole in my lip. Like it was split. So I was digging in that bit and I remember feeling it around and I was like, I know it's nasty. I don't know why I started doing it, but I was trying to figure out, I was trying to figure out what was going on, okay? Don't judge me. I was three years old or four years old. Either way, don't matter. Don't judge me. What would you do if you had a hole in your lip? Probably not what I did. It's okay. I would use the word. I remember the bathroom door open and my big cousin popped his head in and then he popped back out. He probably was like, oh, shit. I don't really remember what he said. I don't really remember that, but I do remember him popping his head in the bathroom and then closing the bathroom door again. And that's basically all I remember from that moment. Luckily for me, my mom came home not super, super, super fucking late. I mean, I guess it was still like not too, too late. She didn't come home too long after the incident. According to my mom, when she came home, she picked me up to come give me a kiss because you know I was her little baby or whatever. And then she was super shocked at what she saw because apparently my lip was like split and hanging. So this top lip was like, <laughs> I don't even know how it looked because honestly, I never seen my lip split, but I don't remember, I don't recall how it looked, but I do, I do remember what it felt like. So I can't really, can't, I know my finger fit in that bit, like the whole top of my finger fit in the hole. Anyways, TMI, disgusting, I'm sorry, it's fine. Now my mom, she an Aquarius, all right? So when she get mad, she gets mad. My mom started fucking flipping and she started asking everybody what happened and blah, 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 blah. And my sister basically told her what happened. Basically everything I told you, my sister told her. So I was running the plane around, I ran into the closet and I split my lip. So my mom and my sister rushed me to the hospital. My brother stayed at the apartment. I remember that. And they took me into the emergency room like right away because my lip was still gushing blood. My mom told them what happened and she told them that it had just happened like right away she made it seem like it was like fresh fresh because she said that if she would have told them that it was a while ago then they wouldn't have stitched me up like that right away something about it could cause an infection or whatever but i don't really know man i i was three years old they rushed me into this room and i remember being put on this table and they pulled out the needles and the stitches and everything that they were about to use to, you know, stitch up my lip. I started fucking flipping shit and I started crying and I started screaming and I started fighting the nurses and everything because I wasn't about to let that needle touch me. It wasn't about to go nowhere near me. My mom, my sister, and multiple nurses had to try to hold me down. They had to try to hold me still so that they could like numb me and shit because they couldn't put me under because it was like an emergency. They didn't have time to do all that extra shit. They had to get me numbed and so that they could start stitching me, you know, doing what they got to do. I guess I was doing the absolute most. I guess I was wilding out way too much because they ended up putting me in this restrictive jacket, which is basically like a straight jacket, but it was a straight jacket for kids to keep them still while they were doing like procedures and little surgeries and stuff on them. Like they were like freaking out like I was. I was doing absolutely most, which is ironic because I, I had to give myself shots for like two years, three years because my arthritis. But you know, that's another story for another day. My sister started crying because of my reaction, seeing me crying and screaming and yelling and fighting. And I was like her little baby. Like apparently my sister treated me like I was her daughter, like she was my second mom. And she took me everywhere. The nurses told her and my mom that they had to leave the way in the hallway. And I was talking to my mom when she was all frustrated because she was like, yeah, we could have been in there with you. They could have been torturing you. They could have been mean to you. We didn't even know. We couldn't do anything but sit there and wait till they were done. I hope they wasn't torturing me. I don't recall that, but you know, I kind of blacked out, honestly. I don't remember shit after that point. After the point of me like yelling and screaming, I don't remember anything. After all that, I just remember like blacking out and waking up to the doctor, literally handing me a glove balloon, which is literally a medical glove that was blown up, but <laughs> to me it was a glove balloon, like from SpongeBob. Anyways, they put these little casts on my wrist 
apparently, I don't recall this either. I don't recall shit being on my wrist, but my mom said they put these little tasks on my wrist to keep me from touching my lip and fucking up my stitches. It's crazy because my brother, he was telling me the story and he said he thought he was going to get his ass beat. He thought he was going to get in so much trouble, but he ended up not really getting in trouble at all. <sighs> not really, like barely. Because technically, he's the one who threw the toy in the direction of the open closet and technically, he the reason why this whole thing happened. Like, it, <laughs> to be honest, it was my fault because I shouldn't have been running around in the first place and my sister told me to stop, but I guess my little ass didn't want to listen. It was my brother's fault for like um, continuing to play with me after my sister said no. And whoever had the closet open for whatever reason, it was also your fault. It's gonna be prevented, but it's okay. It's all right. Growing up, my mom would play with me and she would kiss my little stitched foot <laughs> and tell me that no one else was allowed to kiss my lip and that it was her lip and only her lip. And she would tell me this just to keep me from being self-conscious. But honestly, no one ever bullied me about my lip. I don't even think anyone ever really like talk to me about my lips. It's probably one of those things that people notice but don't want to bring up because it's rude. I mean, no guy ever complained about the scar even, you know, still kissable. Eh. I'm sorry, it's cringy. Personally, I love my little scar. It adds character to my look. If you enjoyed this video, and if you have any childhood scars with a unfortunate story or a funny story behind it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post every week, three times a week. Don't forget it.